Uh, my name is Dinesh Kumar. I uh, represent Tech Mahendra, uh, who happens to be also the platinum sponsor for the WSOCon event. Um, before I start my case study, uh, I was supposed to be accompanied by our customer, Totsco. Uh, unfortunately, in the last minute, because of some personal family emergency, he could not join us. But we do have a video from the CEO of Totsco, Mr. Paul. Uh, so I would first want to play that video before I present the case study. Please play the video. Totsco was incorporated by the UK telecoms industry in 2022. Its purpose is to introduce switching processes. In particular, Totsco commissioned a message exchanging platform called the Totsco Hub that is key to the industry-wide switching process. Tech Mahindra is our technical partner and WSO2 is a key component of their solution. Thank you. So before I dwell in a little bit deeper into this case study, I thought I'll give a little background also about uh, Tech Mahindra. I don't know how many of you know, but Tech Mahindra is a technical arm of Mahindra and Mahindra which is a larger umbrella organization. They are majorly into automotive, uh, farm equipments, uh, technology, and finance, basically. And that as a Tech Mahindra arm, we are about $6.5 billion organization. We are a large GSI. We have presence uh, in 53 countries, uh, primarily based in uh, India, but we do have a large presence in uh, US also, basically. Uh, which is very relevant for a large GSI like us where we engage with many customers to ensure that we have a right partner. Uh, we engage with WSO2 in this particular case study because of the uh, business problem that we encountered. And the turnaround time, if I want to say, was pretty quick in terms of how did we happen to approach this solution. One is primarily because the problem could have been addressed much easily because of the open source technology that WCO2 brings in, the API uh, manager, what I would call it as. But more importantly also, the fact that it was flexible enough to address the business problem, okay? And if, if somebody asked me, what is that you achieved out of this, other than the, you know, the business uh, uh, revenue part, I think the customer experience, because this particular case study, as I will walk you through, you will see that, it has a very valuable uh, impact on the end user, which is the citizens of UK, uh, who had a big impact from their own experience perspective. And as uh, Sanjeeva said in the morning, right, when we talk about a product like WSO2, uh, you, you look at what experiences it brings into the end customer. And I think this is one of the reasons we thought of talking about this case study, because it's a perfect example of what a product like WSO2 and a GSR like Tech Mahindra can come together and make an impact on the end customer experience. Okay. So just to give, you know, Tosco, I think you heard uh, Paul saying, Tosco is a UK-based uh, conglomerate or a non-profit uh, uh, organization that came together. Why did it come together? The reason is, see. Uh, I don't know how many of you know, but in UK, there are a large number of uh, retail communication provider like TalkTalk, BT, Vodafone, and they have their own set of customers that they deal with, right? And it is not easy for somebody who is, let's say, a TalkTalk customer to switch to, let's say, a BT or a Vodafone. It's much more cumbersome, it's much more difficult. Not just the voice provider, if you're talking about uh, broadband or any other service provider, uh, other features, it becomes much more challenging. And if you're talking about the UK region alone, we are talking about close to about 100 search provider, retail communication provider, what we call as retail CP, basically. And they literally don't talk to each other. And switching from one provider to another provider was a nightmarish experience. So if you look at it from an end customer, which is the citizens of UK, right, it was a much bigger pain, basically. I know it is much more easier in US, but then that's when I think all some of the uh, prominent, uh, I would say the retail communication provider came together. They said, let's form an organization 
which is a, like a non-profit organization, Totsco, which will create this platform or a hub which will enable this switching. It's in a very simple term, you can call it as a mobile portability, but not just the mobile, I would say it's also about the other services that you're talking about here, right? And in a simpler terms, yes, that's the business problem it's addressing, but behind the scene, there are many other things. You know, you're talking about messaging, uh, in and out, validating it, ensuring that you know, the provider which is switching uh, addresses, uh, gives all the information to the new provider about the customer, and ensuring if there's any pending dues, all that is taken care. Okay, That's the background I just thought you need to be aware of it, basically. So in a nutshell, as I said, they created a hub. The hub allows a one-touch switch solution, if a, in a very simpler terms, right? And that enables them to uh, switch with, uh, consumers from one provider to another provider. I think I already talked about the background. Uh, basically, they developed to address the UK telecom industry challenges, okay? Providing a centralized, robust, and more importantly, a secure API management. See, when we are talking about uh, communication between various uh, uh, providers, using this hub, it is very relevant and very important that it needs to be secure. Otherwise, nobody would buy the solution, right? And that was possible because of what the WSO2 provides as a feature and what we could implement that. So our approach was very straightforward, uh, I would say. Uh, though basically, we pro played the role of a digital transformation partner by building a cloud-native uh, solution. Uh, we used the WSO2 API manager uh, for API management. Uh, the key solution, very simple, uh, we created a centralized hub uh, the hub streamlines the retail communication provider, uh, ensuring a smooth transition happens, and engage with hub to gain and uh, lose customers with existing service agreements. So the agreements may change between the provider, right? So, but that's important that that is taken care of by the hub. Uh, key highlights. Uh, so as I said, you know, we use API manager for seamless transition between the retail communication provider and the hub, okay? Uh, hub secures communication. It is like a common platform where it takes care of validating the input, takes care of ensuring the customer registration happens, ensuring that whatever the uh, agreement is that, that is uh, uh, taken care of. And most importantly, it's a secure, that's why. And uh, also important that the data that is moving between in and out, you know, when you're talking about this mobile portability or, for example, any other service portability is taken care of. And lastly, the, it enables messaging to move between the retail partners, very, very relevant, basically, and acts as a micro integrator, basically. So what, what exactly it has in terms of, uh, you know, the, the impact, I would say, is that Obviously, it was seamless. You know, it's a one-touch point. The customers were able to move between one provider to another provider very seamlessly. But in a, it may sound very simple, but if you look at behind the scene, we are talking about, it suppose, more than half a million switches and 8 million transactions a month. That's a lot. Okay. So if you look at the technical depth that it involves, right? that's when you have to build a solution which can handle this kind of a load, basically. And why is this relevant? Because, as I said, in UK you have many, more than 100 is what I'm told, uh, uh, this, uh, service providers, and then they all have to go through this, and they all are using this hub, basically. And as we showcase that this hub is relevant, more and more provider gets added into this, basically. And more importantly, it provides a very efficient and cost-effective solution. So suppose, suppose, for example, if this was built by, let's say, BT, and then it would be a proprietary of BT and they would have charged. But this, was, this hub or solution was formed by all the retail CPs coming together, right? So cost was not the reason. There was no uh, motive behind generating a revenue of this, but the motive behind was to make sure the end customer experience was seamless. So the uh, cost impact is minimal to the end customer and even to the telecom provider for that matter, okay? And there is a transparency that is happening between messaging from one provider to another provider. Okay? And most, most importantly, uh, it's a WSO2 ability uh, to operate on both on-premise and cloud, which made it enable. 
So I also have with me my colleague uh, Anil Dendroli, who is uh, SME and uh, who can answer any of the questions that you have in terms of technical ability. Anil, you want to add something? So I, I come from the business side, but I thought it is also relevant for Anil, who is an SME, to talk about it either in terms of the architecture or either in terms of the solution. Check. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Dinesh. So uh, I'll probably just add a couple of interesting facts and I'll carry my phone because I want to be latest with the kind of details, uh, particularly uh, I would say the volumetric details that, that are available. Um, <clears throat> from a, um, you know, retail partners or the service providers that we were, communication providers that uh, Dinesh was mentioning about, at this point in time, we have 3,000, more than 3,500 partners registered on the platform, yeah. and this is increasing. Okay, not all partners have already, be, or all providers have still not been onboarded, and this is an ongoing process. And we are doing more than half a million switches per month. So people are actually switching from one service provider to another service provider across uh, various services, actually. It's, it could be your uh, fixed line, it could be your mobile, it could be your cable TV. So across all the services, we're doing... Uh, the system is already doing more than half a million switches per month. And we receive um, 8 million requests per month, mm. right? Exactly. Which are to be processed. And these are the uh, message requests. The interesting part is the peak load. In fact, this was as, uh, as recent as yesterday. We had about 800k messages per hour coming into the system. Okay, so from a volumetric perspective, you can understand uh, what what size and what massive it is and we and for all of this the response time has always been less than one second right so this this basically goes to say uh, the robustness and the scalability of the system okay the underlying platform uh, that ws2 has provided uh, the, on which we have built the entire hub the totsco hub is so robust and uh, here again uh, we've used a very hybrid methodology while the the hub itself is sitting uh, on the cloud. It's cloud native on AWS. <coughs> the providers have their own uh, systems on various uh, different clouds as well as on-prem, right? So the exchanging of messages or any of this is completely in a hybrid mode. So these are, you know, some of the interesting volumetrics that I thought uh, you should you should listen to 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 just understand, you know, the capability of uh, the solution that was built uh, built here and that we are servicing. And this is for a small country like UK again. When I say small, we all know when it <laughs> the size of it when it compares to something like the US, right? So the, the scale is there, the scale exists. You could think of a million other use cases where uh, you know such a solution could come into place. So uh, that's why we wanted to make sure all of you listen to or uh, this story, and you understand what kind of solutions can be built around uh, WSO2. Yeah, anything in specific that you want to hear, uh, I'd be happy to add. Yeah, I just want to add to why why this case study. Of course, we have done many many case studies together, but why this case study was chosen? If I if you say one, it talks about how companies can come together when there is a problem to be addressed. Okay, without thinking about the self. Uh, motive, okay, self-interest, if I want to say. That's, I think this is a classic example. Number two, I think it also talks about the end customer experience, which happens to be the citizen of UK. And I think the impact that it made was humongous, right? Thirdly, uh, the technical capabilities, I think Anil talked about it, right? It's, it's uh, immense because it took more than nine months to develop this from inception to the uh, execution. And of course, we are still making some changes to it because the providers are getting added to it. So I would say it's a perfect blend of technical capability, the product capability, and uh, the capabilities of both the partner, uh, Tech Mahindra, and the product, and also how uh, Totsco, which was an like a, uh, organization which was created, Ensure they came together, provided, supported the technical solution to make it happen, basically. And that's why I thought this is a perfect case study to talk about. Basically. Just one thing I'd like to add, Totsco, it's basically the consortium, like uh, yeah. Dinesh mentioned, right? So, uh, in fact, uh, the, the message from uh, Paul was not complete when, when they played, they'll play it again mm -hmm. uh, once, once we're uh, done, before we close. But you'll actually hear uh, why this actually came into picture. It is, again, to address the pain point of the end user, of a consumer, right? So the consumers had difficulty switching providers. 
so they were stuck with their providers for ages so again how do you address that end consumers problem how do you bring technology how do you bring businesses together so all of that is what all this case study is about that's that's basically the point that we need to probably highlight so i think why don't we play the video again before we throw open for a questions i think he, yeah. he just played a small part of it good afternoon i'm paul bradbury i'm ceo of a company called totsco or the one touch switching company limited in the uk and i'd like to tell you about how we are transforming the uk residential broadband provision through the introduction of a process called one touch switch and how wso2 and tech mahindra are playing key roles in that transformation totsco was incorporated by the uk telecoms industry in 2022 its purpose is to introduce switching processes in particular totsco commissioned a message exchanging platform called the totsco hub that is key to the industry-wide switching process. Tech Mahindra is our technical partner and WSO2 is a key component of their solution. So what is One Touch Switch? It's a switching process that is becoming mandatory for all home broadband providers in the UK. It will allow 70 million residential consumers to switch providers by one call to their chosen supplier making the market more competitive and bringing, in addition, strengthened consumer protections. WSO2 gives us robust, scalable and flexible technology. Its enterprise integrator capabilities allow the Tosco hub to connect seamlessly with multiple broadband providers and third party services. The agility offered by WSO2 supports our vision of a system that integrates data, manages numerous APIs and handles complex transactions effortlessly. The security features ensure that customer data is protected, meeting our stringent compliance standards. Monitoring tools allow us to optimize data flows in real time, giving us insights to continuously improve the customer experience. The Totsco Hub, designed by Tech Mahindra, also uses Conviva Blue Marble business support systems. Tech Mahindra and Totsco will together support the platform, which will support some 20 million messages and 3 million switches every year. We are excited to partner with Tech Mahindra and WSO2 on this journey. We are confident that what we are creating will not just meet, but exceed customer expectations. Together, we are not just changing the market, we are shaping the future. Thank you for your attention. And we look forward to the future collaborations and innovations with WSO2 and Tech Mahindra. Any questions? So just, just probably one more thing that I'd like to add. What, what are the kind of products that we use? Now, now, WSO2 we know has more than one product, right? So we, in this case, we basically used their uh, uh, micro integrator, which is the MI, and the API gateway. So the combination of these two is what uh, was used to achieve what we finally achieved. So I could I could get down into a lot of other technical detail, but I don't want to bore you people to death. Unless there's any question, I'll probably stop there.